In this episode, we are going to hook up some other different Apple II peripherals to our Linux environment and use them inside the emulator. So we have a new addition here. This is our Apple II mouse card connected to our Apple II mouse. We still have our joystick over here connected and our floppy disk controller and of course our Apple II Pi card. Let's button this up, put our monitor back on top. Our Apple II has booted off of the Pi card, and we continue to load the Apple II GS emulator. It will bring up the Apple II GS desktop. And what's different now is we have the mouse active. We have our Apple II mouse connected internal to the Apple II, which then shows up as a mouse under Linux, which our Apple II GS emulator then maps back as our Apple II mouse. What I want to show is running basic is we're going to see if our joystick currently functions under the emulator. So let's do a quick little program. We're just going to print out the values of the paddle over and over again. Now, it's printing out the same value of 128 over and over again. And as I move my mouse or my joystick around, it makes no difference. So, our joystick is not currently working under the Apple II emulator. The reason why is I don't have the Apple II joystick driver loaded. So we're just going to exit out of our emulator here, as soon as it uh, is free to do so. And go to our Apple II desktop, briefly. Again, now that we have our Apple II mouse connected, we do have a mouse under the Linux desktop. So we're actually going to log out to the command line. And we're going to run the A2 joystick driver. Now we're going to restart the Apple II GS emulator. And we're gonna go into this configuration, make sure we're all set up for joystick. Now for our joystick, we want to use the native joystick one. And we'll exit here. 
when we go run basic, Now we notice that our joystick values match what our physical joystick, I don't know if you can see that, we are in the middle, upper left, lower right, upper right, lower left. And our joystick values correspond to our physical joystick now. So that is how we can continue to use more of our Apple II peripherals inside of our emulated Apple II GS. So it starts to blur the lines, being able to access physical storage devices. You know, here's our five and a quarter inch floppy. That's still over here. We're able to connect our joystick and our mouse and our keyboard all to our emulated Apple II. In fact, to bring it full circle, we will connect our physical floppy. Now you can, I don't know if you can hear it run. The emulator will scan and load the entire floppy disk contents and then make that available to our emulator. I will put our mouse up here so we can see that indeed our mouse is still operational as soon as the emulator finishes loading. Remember, floppy disks are slow and the emulator for some reason wants to load the entire contents of the floppy disk before it continues on. Remember, it thinks it's just a Linux file. It doesn't realize it's an entire physical floppy disk. So as it loads it all up into its copy, internal copy of the floppy disk image, We'll just have to sit here and wait for a moment. Now it has been loaded. We can return to the emulator. Now, using our Apple II mouse, we can click on our floppy disk icon. It loads the actual floppy disk contents and we can open those up in a window under our emulator. Just thought you might be interested in seeing how we have our physical floppy disk, our Apple II mouse, our Apple II joystick, and our Apple II keyboard all operational under our emulated Apple II GS. So again, it does sort of blur the lines between emulation and enhancement, perhaps. It's a, uh, it's a bit of a tough call, but uh, this is really what uh, kind of was the genesis of the Apple II Pi project was to bring all these components together. The Apple II GS emulator also emulates additional hardware that uh, is not even physically inside this Apple IIe, including all the extra memory, the Ethernet card, so it can go and get uh, files from the internet or from your local network, plus 
this emulator also can emulate the Apple Talk interface over the Ethernet. So if you have a server that is running the Apple filing protocol, that can also be accessed through this emulator just as a fully decked out Apple IIgs could. So I hope you find that interesting and uh, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thanks for watching.